What's up guys, Devin Adventure Hobby Passion back today doing another video. We are in the garage. I'm gonna be modifying my front bumper. So first thing I gotta do is take off the winch and I'm actually going to be shimmying my holes forward on my winch so it can sit forward. I think it's three quarters of an inch. I'll measure it, move the holes forward, weld the holes back up so the plate's nice and smooth and clean. And then I'm also gonna be welding a plate on top of it for lights. What's up guys? So I got the winch all off and everything taken off and I figured out how much I need to move the winch forward. Unfortunately, I need to fill all four holes, but I got two bolts that I'm gonna put in the hole, weld it, and weld it on both sides. And then I bought a new sander to be able to reach on this bottom side because it's really, I got this in the way. So I bought a new sander, it has like a little finger that comes out. So I'll be able to sand both sides and then I'm gonna re-drill it, get the winch mounted and all good. And once it's all good on the winch end, then I'm gonna take it back off and I'm gonna work on light bar brackets. another update. I got it all ground down and marked up and I also took my spring loaded punch to make divots for it. So I'm going to take a self tapper bit then I don't really want to drill bits and drill a hole through all these for the pilot holes and then I'm going to work up to this 3164 bit. That is the size that they were originally. So I'm going to go back to that one. So yeah let's get to it. and it is the next day so I got the winch all bolted back together it will I had the controller and everything all apart so I, like, I don't know how if I want it on I sanded this down to fit it onto the bumper a little closer both sides and I ended up finding out the top mounting part for the Badlands winch is aluminum but it's as far forward as it goes it's bolted down so my dad is now gonna help me bolt this down onto the truck to the front so I can figure out light bar mounts right here. Right. Unfortunately it snowed last night, but we are back on to working on the front bumper. I got the metal all traced out for my cardboard aid. And now I gotta cut that out real quick. After I cut it out, slowly keep fitting it on this, fitting it on it. And I'm gonna tack it on. After it's all tacked up good and strong, take the bumper off, pull the truck out, weld it up nice and good, get it all cleaned up and ready for paint. And go paint it hopefully tonight or tomorrow night.
All right, you gotta excuse the heater, but I just got these cut out, so now I gotta throw them into the truck. Gotta do a little bit more fitting. This is just a rough cut, so yeah. Let's get that done. All right, after a long time, a few hours of fitting, I got it on and fitted pretty, pretty good. So now I gotta clean up all this area where I'm gonna be tack welding it. I'm gonna tack weld it in a few spots. And then I'm gonna cut a little bar support for the backside so it holds the back corner of these plates up because I'm gonna be mounting some lights on here. So it's gonna need a little support so it doesn't fold down and flop and it's strong so we're gonna get these done then we're gonna go to supports and then hopefully i can get someone to help me take the bumper off because this thing's heavy okay well i got it sanded down but i did screw it up a little this is the other side and here's where i screwed up i sanded it all the way down no big deal i'm gonna have to repaint it anyways but Put more work into it than I needed to. So now I'm going to clean this all down, spray it all down, and then I'm going to put the metal that I've already prepped, the welding surface. But I'm going to wipe these down just in case. Again. And then we'll tack those on, and we should be starting to rock and roll. Let's get this done! <laughs> place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i be my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody wants to be that gonna keep the shop warm because it's supposed to be like 10 degrees tonight or something um but i got the metal done and i got the reinforcement bar, you can't see crap with the GoPro, but when I take it off, I'll show you. But there's a reinforcement bar on both sides, so I can push on this and it doesn't do anything, it doesn't flex. Flex a tiny bit in the middle, but I'm not gonna be standing right there, I'm mostly on the edge, and I'm not, I have to be like putting my tippy toes right there. And I'm not gonna be standing on it a whole bunch, it's actually mostly for light bars. So my GoPro broke, so I haven't been doing any updates, but I've been getting this done. She's pretty grinded down. I still need to grind the weld from the back support, which is, let's see if my camera will pick it up, which is right there, that bar. Same on the other side. She makes this super, super strong. Doesn't bend, doesn't deflect. So now what I'm gonna do is get some light bar mounts in here and I'm trying to hide the bolts underneath the grill. That gets them real, the gets the lights really far in, but it also just hiding stuff, making it more cosmetic. Before video of the bumper, just finally got it all cleaned out, cleaned off, wiped down. She's looking so good. She's gonna look brand new though when it's done. So let's get some of this self-hatching primer on it the next day all right well we're back and it's been primed up and pretty good but uh you can't really tell on camera okay but there's like this everywhere so we're gonna give her a little bit of sandpaper action just from the paint burning off the original one yes i did sand a lot of it down but you know still a lot of heat so i'm gonna try to sand that and make it a little nicer look a little bit better but i'm gonna spray paint everything because there's a bunch of these nicks 
all around the bumper. There's those scrapes from when I was hitting stuff. So we're just gonna give her a nice touch up so everything is black. All right, it's pickup day. It actually looks pretty good. I screwed up really bad right here. I sprayed brake clean on it. I meant to grab the spray paint can, sprayed brake clean on it. All over the fresh primer. So, yeah, you can see in a little tiny bit, not too much. This side's much better. But once you get a thin layer of dirt on it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Still cleaner than it was before. Yeah, so let's go get this thing installed. I hope you enjoyed today's video working on my Tacoma and getting this bumper all modded up with the plates and moving the winch and lights and trying to get the video style edited a little differently and a little bit more action oriented instead of just being as boring so yeah hopefully you enjoyed today's video like comment share subscribe the biggest thing with my channel go out and go find your passions